So now I'm getting more information. We're getting somewhere. Let's let's follow the TCP stream and see if it shows us something different. What's up guys, welcome back to IT Security Labs. And in today's video, we are going to look at Security Onion alerts. I'm going to pick one alert that we can follow up on and see if it's a legitimate alert or not. I'll show you the whole process of escalating the alert and threat hunting in Security Onion. And I hope we can find value in how to use Security Onion in our lab. If you're brand new on this channel, we are building a lab to learn info sec information security skills. And in this case, we deployed it in VMware ASXi. We have a Security Onion IDS that is running in our environment. If you followed along with, with our pre previous video, you can see that if we run a uh, source status after your Security Onion is installed, we have all the components working. As you can see, they say, okay, okay. So let's go back to our alerts. And I just plugged in a Windows machine here. And as you can see, we have a lot of problems here at our company called Trevor Phillips Industries. Uh, we have issues. We have right here in our alert that is telling us that we have in Windows that is sub submitting metadata to Microsoft. Then we have uh, a machine that is using public DNS, as you can see from here. All these issues need to be fixed. And we need to start looking at them and why they're firing and whether they are an issue for us or not. So all these things like um, Avast and all this, they need to be fixed. But for now, we want to focus on this incident here that I already escalated. This incident here says that we downloaded an ES exe or DOL file. Our policy at our company, uh, let's assume that we don't allow end users to install their own software. They have to submit requests to IT for any software, including any updates that are deployed in our environment. We want to make sure that our Windows WSAS server is the one that updates machines. So there is no reason why anyone should reach out to the internet for executable files or DOL files. So this is the alert that fired here and it was fired by Suricata and it's high. So let's follow along uh, up on this alert. Now I just acknowledged it here. What we, what I did was I escalated it to the hive. I escalated that incident by hitting the escalate button. So if you go back here, you can escalate the events by just hitting the escalate button, something like this. So I escalated my, my event and as you can see, I can see it here in the hive. And this is where I can keep track of this incident as it goes along. And in this case, I have this one right here that I created and uh, it's assigned to me. I'm the analyst. And here's the rule that fired for the alert in Suricata. And as you can see, we can see what really fired this incident. But I'm interested in now going to our um, Kibana and seeing the same incident. What what does it look like in Kibana? And also I will look at our hunt interface to make sure that we can follow up on that incident. And as you can see here, um, if we go to Kibana, we can see the alerts. And I'm not even searching or doing any fancy Kibana searches here. I'm just looking at the alerts that fired. And in this case, we know that the alert was from Suricata. So let's narrow it down to even more to Suricata. And so we can see that Windows DOL, uh, you need to be able to search in here using the Kibana querying language, but that's beyond the scope for today's session. As you can see, here are all the events that we saw earlier. That alert was a high alert. So I'm, I'm just filtering here, make sure that I get to the right stuff. It was a high alert. So I'm, I'm filtering it to make sure that it shows is a high. And here are the high alerts that fired on Suricata. And right now we have um, package management because my Linux machines are reaching out to the internet. That is also a high, but what I want is this Windows one. It only fired once, so I click on it. And now we are going to find out from Kibana's perspective, what does that uh, alert look like? What What is the log, that, like the raw log that looks like? So here's the alert, here's the source IP address, and here's the destination. So this destination here happens to be a Windows 10 machine in my environment. So I know that right now. And here's the log that fired. All right. From this log in Kibana, this is the indicator section, we can create a case in the hive, which will create this case here that you see. And we can see the description here. So that's good to, to know. All right. But then we can see source and destination, the rule that fired. And this is really good in the categories 
potential corporate privacy violation. And what I want to do is I want to, if I wanted to follow up on the rule, I can read what is this rule say and what exactly is it looking for. And in this case, if you look it up, it's looking for any connections from external network to our internet, our internal net. And if it's looking for executable files and also DLL files uh, and the flow is established, that matches any of these is going to fire the rules. So let's go ahead and hunt for this event in our hunt interface in Security Onion. All right, so as you can see here, this is the filter that I applied. But if I didn't have this filter, I can just come in here and paste that IP address. Let's remove this. And it will give us the IP address here. And that IP address was port 80. And according to our Kibana, the timestamp for the event, we, this is very important, 2037.09. So that's what we are looking for here, 2007. 2037.09 and this is it right here. So from here, now we know that we have our event. We can click here, we can see the connection and again, more information about our event. Show pickup for this event, that's what we want to do. Let's see the pickup and we can just do that. And here's the raw pickup. You have two options here. You can work with this pickup from here. You can view it in hex, uh, you can read the pickup and you can see the events as they happened. And now you can see who initiated the conversation. In this case, our Windows machine started the scene, scene arc. Here's a full TCP handshake. And you can see everything. You can even click on each of these and expand and view the pickup. But if you are, your favorite tool is Wireshark, you can download this pickup. Then let's open it. This is where uh, your skill set might, might matter. So here's a Wireshark capture and what, what it looks like. And this is what I like to look at. Uh, you can get used to looking at the hunt for security onion if you want, but we can see that we did make a get request here and that's what fired our request. So right away I can tell that it's going to this domain m2.hwcdn.net. That's at least what it's uh, resolving to. But let me follow the actual stream, HTTP stream and the HTTP stream looks like this, and in this case, the host is called uh, is MS Edge. So now I'm getting more information. We're getting somewhere. Let's let's follow the TCP stream and see if it looks, shows us something different. Yeah. So here is this TCP stream, and with more information here, what what what, what really happened? And in this case, we went and made a GET request to this location on this host. So you might be wondering, like I've been looking at different types of data and stuff like that, but this is now telling me something. First thing that I want to do is maybe you can go and look at, do a domain lookup for this host, but you see at the end, yes, it ends with Microsoft.com. So it's most likely a Microsoft website. And what we were looking for from that website, uh, we need to find out what, what were we doing on, on the Microsoft website. But for now, if you see the user agent is Microsoft Edge update. So it's definitely Microsoft Edge and I didn't touch Microsoft Edge. So we were maybe up updating Microsoft. So let's check if we come here and look at Microsoft's website, do they have that site as one of theirs? Yes. So it looks like Microsoft Edge was downloading something on my machine. So it looks like it was Microsoft Edge on my machine that was doing um, some updating of some sort. So right now I can relax and know that, you know, uh, maybe this is not worth me spending too much time on it. But as, as you can see, I verified by going through the whole process and really looking at things. And this is just the beginning of what we can do with this. So that alert that fired, maybe now I need to go and remediate and make sure that that alert doesn't show up all the time. And the best way for me to do that is maybe set up a group policy that says Microsoft Edge or Microsoft updates are not allowed to go to my endpoints without me setting up my group policy and also Windows WSAS. So that was just a quick way of using Security Onion in our lab to just follow up on alerts that are showing up. And as you can see, we have a lot of alerts that we've not been 
escalated that has not been uh, looked yet and it's our job now to remove all this noise and really tighten our environment so that when uh, let's show up here they are worth something if you like this type of con content uh, i encourage you to like and subscribe to my channel thank you